What's up, guys? It's your boy, Betel OG, zooming right on into Morgue City, as you can see. And on the last episode, we worked on these four buildings right in front of me, starting left all the way to the right. And also, we had a lovely stream weekend this past weekend, and I built two more buildings right there. Uh, inter in the interior's coming soon. But uh, the problem I have with these builds, particularly one, is this one right here. This was a build, uh, a pallet, I mean, given to me by th that person right there, died by fire. And um, I didn't, f she wanted me to do a certain thing where I use every block as an exterior block, but uh, that was not gonna be happening with this guy. So, uh, as a, like a roast, I guess, I don't know what to call this really, she called me a whiner. And then even worse, look at this. Beatles wine and cheese. Built by Died by Fire. Uh, dis disgusting. Despicable even. I do love my cheese though, so uh, I'm quite happy about that. However, what's not good is theft. And she stole these signs. And even worse, uh, she built this while I was um, uh, building the builds over there for the last video. So, uh, we can also add trespassing to the charges but today guys i'm gonna show you how no uh, no this is gonna sound bad at first but i'm gonna show you how you can actually torment your friends on minecraft now what do i mean by tormenting your friends well uh if you have troublemaker friends like i do on a server especially on minecraft then there's a few ways you can deal with them if they're ever pestering you one is the passive aggressive way Will I ever be as good as Mayor Badel? Then you have uh, the normie citizen saying, nah. You see, that's what we call in the in the Badel book of uh, uh, tormenting. That's what we call passive aggression. But that's no good because instead, you can also do something like this. You can do a little slash message and be like, this is a, this is a high level tormenting technique right there. You, you let them know you're about to strike. So, I'm going to type, I am going to prank you. Ha 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 See, that right there, that is a next level play by BetaLoG. Now, we're just going to wait for her reaction. And, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. Trust me, guys. Okay, there's the response right there. I was waiting for it. Look, this is a perfect example because, as you can see there, that instills torment. So, they don't know when I'm going to strike. They don't know how many times I'm gonna strike, or not even I, uh, you, anyone. So that's a, uh, that's a 10,000 IQ move by Bill G right there. So onto the, onto the more important part now. Actually, having a successful um, prankage. So um, a thing you might have uh, been worrying about is the fact that what if, since you warned them before that you're gonna prank them, what if it backfires and they actually go for you first? Well, that's where this comes in at. Uh, it's gonna be, a, you need a better example than this, obviously, but, you know, right outside your trusty nether portal, you can set a little trap, maybe, and uh, maybe do some tripwire hooks instead, then instant death by TNT. In this case, I will not be doing that, though, because uh, David is a bit too much of a precious cargo, and it would probably uh, do more damage to my base than to the person. But, you gotta be creative. You know, make the pitfall traps. You, you think it, uh, the you think of Vietnamese style with these, some of these traps, you know. So uh, you can get cre as creative as you want with trapping, or you can make red herrings. For example, make a build that you honestly don't care if it gets pranked. In my case is David, because uh, believe it or not, he wasn't born with these stylish boots or uh, the cattail. He's not a furry in IRL. Or at least not in my vision, he's not. But you make red herrings, so that way your good builds all these don't get touched. So that's uh, that's a good thing. It doesn't have to be as big as this, but just make a build or thing. It, it doesn't have to be at your base. Just make something that um, you don't mind it being targeted, but protect your main base at all costs. Even if it means griefing it slightly with TNT, but you get the satisfaction of killing the i was to say helpless victim but they had to come in they were trespassing man 
Okay, guys. This is step... Mm, is it three? Yeah, step three or four. I don't know which one I'm on. But locate your target as died by fire's beautiful, beautiful base. And this is going to be step four and five, actually. Because then you do a little bit of this action. I think that's Aladdin's castle. I don't know. I've never watched Aladdin. But you give him a red herring. Be like, hmm. Aladdin. Uh, I spelled Aladdin wrong, probably. Castle looks like it needs shrinkage. Exclamation mark for added effect. You do better that action. That those you if those them off your trail, because they're gonna be thinking, oh no, Aladdin's castle, or is it Jafar's castle? I have no idea. But then you go over here, and then you prank instead, Rapunzel's tower. <laughs> Another ten million IQ, play by Vadel. Uh, I might have to coin this term. Uh, not coin. I copyright it because it, it, it's so effectively just me. That if anyone else even tries taking the tactic, it'll be obvious, and um, they'll be a fraud. So now then, time for the most important part. Not waiting for a response. This oh, never mind. There's a response anyway. Um, either that, well, that that happened just come, but now we are actually going to be pranking said base, not Jafar's castle though, or Aladdin's. I have no idea. Make sure you scream at me in the comments for getting it wrong. By the way, you Disney nerd. And behold, ladies and gentlemen. The glorious, glorious prankage. Part one. Oop, part one, that is. And to give you a closer look at what it's saying. <clears throat> gotta get my gotta get my gotta get my girly voice out. Wah, wah. <laughs> May I have some cheese? Then epic, cool, amazing Beto right here. Nah, you can have some wine though. I'm not sipping any wine over here, but the, the, the the thought was there. So, let's see what Died thinks of this now, shall we? Okay, so now, for the fun part, we just wait for the pet- Oh, here she comes. I told her about this place. She's in her banana man suit, of course, of course. And she's attacking me, guys. Okay. Uh, assault was probably- And she's doing theft. You guys see this? No. <laughs> Evil. Bad. I hope I don't have my sword. I have my fist out. Good. <laughs> Terrible. She's stealing the cheese, guys. This is all gone awry. But, this was to be expected. However, what else is to be expected is, um, retaliation. That's the word I'm looking for. So, that's when we wait now. Oh, look at her. Getting all cozy over there. Not even react And stealing the cheese. No. <laughs> that's terrible. But, that's when we strike twice. Look at her evil, the evil witch over there. Throwing the cheese in the air, it's vile. But, this, she, has, she has no idea that we were about to strike twice. Before she can even strike once. That's how, that's how many moves I'm ahead of her. Beta is ahead of her. So let's get into those now. Okay, so prank part two. Uh, this is going to be really easy. Uh, anyone can do this, trust me. Let's go find your friend's storage system. Okay, and you dig down here. It's a little hollow down here, so it's a little bit easier. But then, all you gotta do is just get oh, get your redstone box out first off. Quick tutorial. You just get one note block. Okay. Oh, this is the hardest part, getting a creeper head. But, I'm gonna turn my sound up. And turn my, my uh, speaker down. As you can see, it makes that noise. Which is perfect for what I plan on doing. Ignore that, that's my speaker scratching in the background. Then you just do. Put that. Uh, oops, forgot the bucket of water. Okay, I did a little skipping ahead, but pretty simple. Right there, let's waterlog it. Behold, you can never, you can't hear the go, or do that little sound thing. And it's still hissing. So, uh, for example, every time you break this, or not even break it. Every time you... Let's test it out. So, uh, make sure I put everything back. Yes, I did. Oop, except that. There we are. So, for example, I'm going to turn the volume back up so you guys can actually hear it. Um, you walk by, you're going to go get your storage. Open this up. <laughs> Perfect. She'll never expect it. Well, she'll expect it's me, probably. But, there's a lot of people here, including me for some reason, for Rohan. 
weapon, including a flying cuta for some reason. But that's not the point. The point is that is glorious right there. Now, uh, I hope retaliation doesn't come. <clears throat> but I'm going to do a little time lapse action because there's a few builds in Morg City. We're going uh, we're to take it back to Morg City now, as you can see. <clears throat> but there's a few builds that I need decorate. I need decorating, uh, interior-wise at least. So, we're going to be getting started right on those, right as we speak. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the time-lapse of these three builds right here. Enjoy. Hold me close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust So I know that was a uh, bit of a shorter time lapse. I only really did this one building, but it's mainly because I forgot that I even I did do these other two. Um, this one, there's no heads in here because the person who actually is gonna get the shop hasn't given me their head yet. It's a nasty glazed terracotta shop. Um, this guy's gonna be throwing it in the trash once I do all the armor stands. I'm gonna do them all at the same time, probably in my live streams. So uh, if you want to view my live streams, six o'clock most of the time so feel free to feel free to you know give me a follow there <laughs> there being on YouTube and we got the uh, the glorious beautiful sweet heavenly aroma of RVs right here uh, once again there's not, no people really in here I just did a basic interior in this and at no point in really recording it because basically everything but like this was here which is um, the, the annual uh, the proud opening I mean sorry of the second restroom in Morg City. Well, second and third, but not the point. But now, guys, there are other people, I should tell you, who uh, do have big statues, kind of like David. Uh, I'm going to get a better look at him real fast. And um, I know what you're, think I know what you're uh, thinking right now. Beto, what's that to do with anything? Well, this goes to uh, step uh, five, six, I don't know. I'm on step 20. Who knows what step I'm on. But you define ample targets who uh, share a common interest. And also, I've also pranked you before. See that dog purse right there? That wasn't, that obviously wasn't built by me because, you know, only like big manly dogs like make that a Doberman or something and I'm all for it. But that is not what that is. So I'm going to be pranking someone else's statue. Give them a taste of their own medicine. <laughs> Behold, you guys. The very... Let me move back a little closer. Sorry, I got loud there. The very beautiful... Um, I know it's one of the ancient wonders of the world. Forget what he's called. Torch Man. Yes. However, let's make him a little more beautiful now, shall we? He kind of <laughs> looks like he has a troll face for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Or it looks like the really like uncanny troll face. Okay, but that's not the point. Okay, this is the before, and now. Ah, uh, now then, ladies and gentlemen, behold, the glorious um, outcome of my work. I know it's very. It's not that. It's not that great. It's not because of the David pranks. However, for a one-man army, most of those were done by multiple people, mind you. For a one-man army, though. And granted, I made this in like five minutes. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kind of looks like Sean O'Malley. Well, uh, that's not true. It's meant to be a nice little clown. Please, Mirab, beat him. Do not let that age well. It aged like milk, I mean. <laughs> but, let it age well, actually. But, that is all the video time I have for day, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll be streaming probably mm, Saturday. Saturday or Sunday, who knows. But, as always, thank you for watching. Much love from Betalogy. Signing out. Thank you for watching.